John P. Marquand's Sincerely, Willis Wade is a short story that delves into the theme of identity and the consequences of lying to oneself and others. The story is set in the early 1940s and follows the life of Willis Wade, a successful and wealthy businessman who has built his fortune by deceiving others. The story is narrated from the perspective of a young man who is introduced to Willis Wade by a mutual acquaintance. At first glance, Willis Wade appears to be an affable and charismatic man, who is well-liked by everyone he meets. However, as the story progresses, it becomes clear that Willis Wade is not who he appears to be. Marquand's use of imagery and symbolism is particularly effective in conveying the theme of identity. For example, the narrator describes Willis Wade's office as a beautiful place, beautifully furnished, with beautiful paintings on the walls. This description conveys the sense that everything about Willis Wade is beautiful and perfect, which is the persona he has carefully crafted for himself. However, as the story progresses, it becomes clear that this is nothing more than an illusion. The story is divided into two parts, with the first part focusing on Willis Wade's public persona and the second part revealing his true identity. In the first part of the story, Willis Wade is portrayed as a successful businessman who is admired and respected by everyone he meets. He is seen as a man of impeccable taste, who enjoys the finer things in life. However, as the story progresses, it becomes clear that this persona is a facade. Willis Wade is, in fact, a liar and a cheat, who has built his fortune on the backs of others. Marquand's use of dialogue is particularly effective in conveying the theme of identity. For example, when the narrator confronts Willis Wade about his lies, he responds, Don't you see, I'm nobody. I'm nothing. I'm a liar. This dialogue conveys the sense that Willis Wade is aware of his true identity but is unwilling to face it. He is so invested in his public persona that he cannot bear to let it go, even if it means admitting the truth about himself. The climax of the story occurs when Willis Wade is confronted by one of his victims, a woman who has lost everything because of his lies. In this scene, Marquand uses vivid imagery and symbolism to convey the sense of despair and hopelessness that Willis Wade feels. For example, he describes Willis Wade's face as sallow and drawn, and his eyes as wild and despairing. This imagery conveys the sense that Willis Wade is no longer in control of his life, and that his true identity has been exposed. The story ends with Willis Wade's suicide, which is a tragic and poignant conclusion to the story. Marquand's use of symbolism is particularly effective in conveying the sense of finality and closure. For example, he describes Willis Wade's body as being still and lifeless, which conveys the sense that his public persona has finally been laid to rest. In conclusion, John P. Marquand's Sincerely, Willis Wade is a powerful and thought-provoking story that explores the theme of identity and the consequences of lying to oneself and others. Through his use of imagery, symbolism, and dialogue, Marquand effectively conveys the sense of despair and hopelessness that Willis Wade feels as his true identity is exposed. The story is a poignant reminder that our true selves can never be hidden forever, and that the consequences of our actions will eventually catch up with us.